What's going on YouTube? My Larks is today. We're back for our player review. This time, Roberto Pereira shapeshifter card. Now, looking like a really, really good card. Normally, a central midfielder. Can change to left back. Six foot tall. High, high work rates. Left footed. Got the five star skill moves boost. Four star weak foot. Lean body type in game as well. So, this card's looking absolutely crazy so far. Take a quick look at the attribute details. As you can see, his pace is maxed out. He's got good shot as well. Very good passing. Obviously, you see dribbling. Very, very good ball control. Defensively, strong as well. Physically, very good. As you can see, I put the centre one. Obviously, you are we're going to play him at left back at first. But I feel like with this card just looking so good, I feel like we're going to have to play this at central midfield because I feel like that's probably going to be his best position, probably as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Now, looking at this card, obviously, with the lean body type, five-star skill moves, for me, it's looking like a little bit like uh, Cancelo, Quadrado. I'm getting that sort of vibe from it, obviously. We need to see what he's like in game. Obviously, with the lean body type as well, it's going to be very, very good in game. Again, as you can see, ball control is very good. Just everything about this card, you know, you can't see any bad stat on it. Obviously, agility and balance is 90, but again, he's got that lean body type in game to obviously push you and make him a lot more smoother in game. He's only got the one player trait, which is a speed dribbler trait, which again will help, obviously, when we are running at defenders. So, like I said, we will play him as a left back. We will play him uh, in, in midfield because, like I said, I feel like that's definitely going to be his best position. Even his shooting is decent as well. Obviously, look at the shot power, the long shots. It's all good. Nothing amazing, obviously. But again, if we do decide to play him in midfield, then we can always change that chemistry style. But as you can see, just put the centre one in just for now. Just to max out the defensive stats, obviously boost up his physical a little bit. Obviously, strength's only 85 and his jumping's 84. So again, they've been pushed up a lot. So, like I said, we're going to play a few games of foot champs qualification game. They go defensively, Pereira catches him up, takes the ball off of him. And again, because of how good he is in game, can dribble out with the ball as well. Again, Pereira getting in there, winning the ball. Look at the pace as well. So this is how we can start counter-attacks as well. Nice ball. Again, there's Pereira again. He just seems to be everywhere at the moment. Again, absolutely rapid in game as well, by the way. Like, his pace. As you can see, I keep like just burning past people. Nice bit of skill to get away from the, from the defender. Correa, again, offers something different when he's got the skill moves. Again, great composure, nice ball out wide as well. Yeah, nice bit of skill from Perea. Getting the L1 with Perea. He's got a burst of pace as well. You're going to need from a left back, centre mid. You can see now can burst inside with him as well. Again, Pereira in the way. Look at the footwork as well for a left back as well. Intercepting the ball in the right position. Again, look at Pereira. He's that quick that he can get back in. Again, look at the quality as well that he possesses. Into Pereira. Look at the pace of Pereira, it's open up gaps. Oh, he's just over hit the pass. Maybe it should have been the next pass really from there. Pereira winning that ball back. There we go, Shahari's in again. Yeah, he wasn't gonna miss. There we go, he wasn't gonna miss, was he? There's a the hat trick. Again, strong defensively Pereira. And look who's in the way. Pereira plays a lovely ball. There you go, that to him, by the way. Another solid challenge in there. There you go, it's Flahovic he's up against, by the way. Gets around. Trent. Skills round him. Still got the ball. Into El Shahari with the finish. It was all about Roberto Pereira though. That dribbling was crazy. 
So, as you see from the gameplay, Perea, what a card this is, by the way. Now, being honest, I didn't really expect it to be as good as what it was. Obviously, played four games of him defensively, played him at left back, played him in the center of central midfield positions, two assists, obviously. He's just top, top tier. High, high work rates work really, really well with this card. Five-star skill moves gives him, gives him something different. Weak foot's really good as well. And this is why you can literally play this card anyway. He's got the pace, 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. So you don't need to worry about any of that. His shooting's good. Like I said, I wouldn't say it's amazing. But again, for a box-to-box -box midfielder, obviously you can put a different chemistry style on him. Maybe you might want to put on like a gladiator that does shooting and defending. Maybe you might just want to keep the center on him. It depends what type of midfielder you want. I think as a box-to-box -box midfielder, that's probably his best position. You know, his defending is absolutely crazy. He's physically, he's very good as well. So, like I said, I probably would keep on the Sentinel. I think his shooting is good anyway. Like I said, we didn't manage to score with a card. But I didn't really get him into too many shooting uh, positions anyway. But like I said, it depends on what formation you play. He might get into better shooting positions. But with the formations that I did play with him, a 4-2-3-1, a 4-3-3, um, I didn't really, like I said, I didn't really manage to get him into too many shooting positions. Like I said, if you might play a 4-2-2, you might play the 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, then you are going to get him in more shooting positions, depending on what side you play him on, if you play him right side or left side. But again, this card's got it all. Obviously, he's only got the speed trib dribbler trait, lean body type in game. And like, it's, like I said, everything is just very, very good defensively. Physically, he's good, obviously, with the center one as well. So I would advise keeping that chemistry style on him. Very good defensive AI, very good attacking AI. So all round, you know, this card's very good. Obviously, attacking AIs and defensive AIs are always going to be very good on cards on FIFA. We're at the end of FIFA, merely. So we don't need to really worry about the AIs too much because we expect them to be good. In-game, agility-wise, dribbling-wise, you know, very, very good. Obviously, very smooth, as you'd expect with most cards at FIFA at this point. So, again, top tier card. The only problem you might have is, obviously, if you did want to play in the central midfield, who could you get in to come and play left back? That's probably the only position, the only thing you're going to find hard, really. But rating out of 10, definite 10. Really, really top tier card. Lean body type in game, as you see from the, on the screen, all the stats are just perfect, so you don't really need to worry. Like I said, you might want to play with a different chemistry style compared to me if you want him to be uh, his shooting to be better. I think with the Sentinel one, this is a very, very good card for a box to box midfielder. He can play left back as well, it's entirely up to you. I just think with just how good this card is in game, how good his dribbling is, how good his passing is defensively as well i just feel like as a box to box midfielder he's going to offer that something different to, to other cards in the game but the only problem is you're going to have if you play him at center mid who are you going to get to play left back depends on your team really it really really does depend on your team but yeah 10 out of 10 for Perea, and i really really enjoyed using this card very very good card but that is all for today's video thanks for tuning in like subscribe comment run the road to 2,000 subscribers if you're looking to make more coins on fifa without spending any money on the game looking for ways to improve your team but you're not too sure how join my fifa trader server group the links in the description below it's free to join so make sure you go and check that out guys thanks for tuning in and until next time